Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is the Into the Weekend with Bet DSI show for NFL Week 3. We uh, do this call every week, of course, with Brent, the headlines manager at DSI Sportsbook, and he discusses with us the action he's seen from the public, from the sharps, and uh, the kind of volume that he's taken on, on the marquee games. Brent, thanks for being back with us. And a pleasure being with you, Peter. All right, NFL Week 3, Denver, Seattle. Let's start with that one. Super Bowl rematches has got to be one of the highest volume games uh, of the year so far, right? Yeah. Why is this game not the Sunday night game? I can't. I mean, I guess programming wise, it, it was set before, but I mean, this game obviously screams like the one that should be on the the, the night game. Even even San Fran Arizona seems like a better matchup than the the one they've got with Pittsburgh and Carolina. Uh, yeah. I mean, to get straight to your, your question, yeah, this has been a, a really high volume game for us, and kind of expected. Even like on the teaser side, we've got stuff going both ways. Now, I haven't really seen much sharp money on the game right now. We're sitting Seattle minus four and a half and a total of 48 and a half. I did get kind of sharp money, Seattle minus four. Um, the line went as high as five, and I got some kind of sharp money back on Denver. So, I mean, it did line kind of ping pong between four and five, and we're sitting at four and a half right now. This number seems like it's going to work for us. Absolutely nothing on the total. Like, I've got. Like, mm. literally, I've got nothing on this total. Okay. And then uh, there's two other games I want to ask you about. The first one, Dallas at St. Louis, right? Now, I'm looking at this game. Dallas is like a one-point road favorite, or it's a pick em line. I have to assume that if ever there was, like, a public side this week or this year, the public's all over Dallas. No way they're betting St. Louis here, right? Yeah, I mean, our count is both 4-1 to one in favor of Dallas, right. Dallas and not a ton of public money the other way on St. Louis. It's interesting. I got, you know, kind of respectable money on, on Dallas when it was a pick, and mm -hmm. I got some really sharp money on St. Louis when it was plus two. Now, really? the line's one right now. I mean, how much value is there plus one, plus two? I mean, and it doesn't seem like much until the game lands one or two, of <laughs> course. But I did see Sharps take St. Louis, the home dog, getting two points, and I saw that I could get, again, like I said, money that we respect with Dallas on the, uh, when it was a pick. So money respect on Dallas, uh, really sharp money on St. Louis plus two, and the public favoring Dallas. That's an interesting profile. And the public right all there. over Dallas, yeah. All right. And uh, then Houston Giants, kind of a similar game. Uh, it's a little hard for me to imagine that uh, you've gotten too much action from the public on the Giants, just a small uh, home underdog. But maybe if it's a New York area team, maybe maybe you have. But uh, I'm guessing that, again, you're overloaded on public action on Houston. Not overloaded, but yeah, I mean, the, the count definitely favors Houston. That is mostly public money. The counts, you know, it, it's relatively close, actually. I've got more parties and teasers and stuff like that tied to Houston as well. But our money actually favors the Giants. And the reason for that is we have a couple of sharp bets on the Giants at mm. home catching plus one and a half and catching two. The Lions Houston minus one right now with a total of 41. So I, I was kind of surprised to see sharp money on the Giants just because they look so bad. Yeah. But I guess, you know, a home, home team catching catching anything is value in their, their eyes, and this is the case with this one. So there's public sharp split then on those two games, right? That's correct. All right, interesting. All right, so what can you tell us from the rest of the uh, card from NFL Week 3? Notable action. Well, I'll go from the top. We've got uh, San Diego and Buffalo. That uh, Buffalo's at home to San Diego is a two-point favorite. Totals 45. I did get sharp money on the under 45 and a half. Mm -hmm. Now I've got money on the over as well, over 45. But that's just big bets, not nothing particularly sharp. But it was definitely sharp money on the under 45 and a half. San Diego at Buffalo. The Eagles. They're at home to Washington. I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of public money, decent bets on Washington. Now this isn't a huge public sharp split. But I did take sharp money on Philadelphia minus six. That's a mm. definite sharp play there. Mm. Uh, and I, and again, I, I think the public might be kind of enamored with uh, with Washington looking at Cousins and you know how how well he did kind of coming in relief. But uh, I don't know. I I wouldn't want to buck uh, Philadelphia in this case, and certainly not with the sharps laying the the, the six points. And Minnesota New Orleans. Uh, Minnesota just keeps getting support from the sharps. I mean, it's it's interesting, but they're even without uh, without Peterson. I've got sharp money on Minnesota plus ten. I was plus ten minus all five right now to get Minnesota plus ten. You got to lay fifteen, but there's definitely sharp money on Minnesota, and of course the public is on New Orleans. There's nothing right. new there. The counts way in their favor, like around eight to one in favor of New Orleans. Money favors them about two to one, but it, it's just mostly uh, public money there. Uh, another total for you guys, Baltimore at Cleveland. Baltimore's a two-point favorite with a total of 41. Under 41.5 was definitely sharp. Mm -hmm. Again, I've got decent two-way action, some guys going over the 41, but it's not, you know, it's, it's definitely not sharp money. It's mostly public money. The sharps are definitely on the under 41.5 with Baltimore at Cleveland. Uh, Jacksonville, another oddly home team, but they're at home catching seven to Indianapolis. Right now I've got Indianapolis seven, 
a minus 05. So Jacksonville plus 7, plus 115 right now, total of 45. And Jacksonville uh, plus 7 flat, that was sharp money. Wow. Uh, the count favors Indianapolis, of course. There's you know, no surprise there. Continuing with the ugly teams that you don't want to bet, Oakland plus 15. They're at New England. They've looked terrible. Sharps took down plus the 15. Oh my God. Uh, count is about 2-1 to one in favor of New England. Money's pretty much close because of the sharp money on Oakland. Um, one of the big games was San Fran at Arizona. San Fran minus 2.5, minus 115 was sharp. Hmm. We're up to minus 3 right now on San Francisco. They're at Arizona. Total's 42. No one's touched that at all. Uh, going to the, the Sunday night game is not really anything in particular with Sharp. We just got a lot of big, big bets on Pittsburgh plus three and a half. Now, it wasn't particularly Sharp. Um, I've got mostly public money on Carolina, but that's just something to know. It's not, you know, it's nothing really public Sharp split, but there's some big, big bets when Pittsburgh was plus three and a half. That's why we're down to minus three, minus 15 on Carolina right now. And the Monday night game already, I did get Sharp money on Chicago. They're at mm-hmm. the Jets. The Jets are actually a favorite. Uh, Jets minus three. The dog is minus 125 right now. Chicago Bears plus three, minus 120 with sharp money. I've got a count of about uh, two to one in favor of the Jets, which is a bit surprising. And the money's about two to one in favor of Chicago there. Seems like there's a lot, a lot more sharp action this week in the NFL than, than usual. Usually there's you know yeah. just a little bit. Is that is that is that true? Yeah, no, there's there's, there's a ton of it. I, I mean, as I was writing stuff down as these bets come in, it was like wow, it just it just kept on coming and coming. But it, it, it helps me a lot in terms of giving me that you know if I've got to take a position, I've got to stand on the side. I know which side I want to be on. So this information obviously helps me as well. Running down those sharp sides, those are all just feel like such ugly bets to me, Brent. You sure these guys are sharp? The long term winners in the NFL. Long, 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 long-term winners. Winners of much more than you and I, I assume. But, uh, <laughs> much more than I, Peter. Maybe not you. All right. Taking Minnesota, taking Oakland, taking the Jags. Ugliness all around. But, hey, hey. Far be it for me to question uh, their action. All right, now let's quickly just touch on teasers. You know, if there's a lot of sharp uh, public splits uh, this week, then probably there's going to be a big swing for you on teasers. I'm assuming that uh, the Pats, huge teaser side. Saints, huge teaser side. Probably uh, Indianapolis, huge teaser side, right? Yeah, I mean, Indianapolis, the Pats for sure. Uh, New Orleans for sure. Dallas is actually, I mean, Dallas is a public side, so of course you can throw them in teasers. I think I said the count was about 4-1 to one if you ever Dallas, so the fact they're heavy on teasers is no surprise at all. The Bengals, get a, they get support week after week now, and they look like a strong team, so the public is all over them, throwing them into teasers. Indianapolis, you touched on, and actually Carolina being a, a home favorite, minus three, so you end up teasing like three and a half points, whoever catching three and a half, so that's kind of attractive when you look at it on paper, but you know, teasers are called teasers for a reason, so mm-hmm. that's Dallas, uh, New New Orleans, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, New England, and Carolina are really the big ones. If we break up a couple of those, we'll be all right. So it sounds like you're pretty balanced then uh, this week, uh, that you got a lot of action and you've got like sharps in the public uh, kind of offsetting each other. Yeah, as of now, I mean, again, we're doing this call on Friday afternoon and there's a lot going to happen. Mostly on Sunday, uh, a lot of action is going to come in. You'll see these lines move a bit, but some of them you, you can take a look at, like, you know, Denver, Seattle, like I touched on. And that's something, someone really, really sharp comes in with a really, really big bet. I can't see stuff like that moving much either way. Right. So, no, we're right now we're in a really good spot all right brent from bet dsi thanks so much once again that is the action that brent has seen on the nfl as of friday afternoon and as he said uh, things can change by kickoff thanks so much brent talk to you again next week the sbr network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns big money free betting contests year round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.